SESI stands for Stanford Energy System Innovations. It's a very large environmental project with many components of planning and implementation, and of course with its great environmental benefits. It's a program to look at our energy solutions holistically. 28 years ago, we were in a cogeneration system, which was natural gas and steam and a lot of wasted heat. We got this full picture of our energy use, and, and when we compared our annual heating and cooling hour by hour, we found that 75% of the year we were producing as much heat and sending it out to the buildings for their use as we were receiving heat back from the buildings and discharging to the uh, atmosphere as waste via evaporative cooling. My jaw really hit the desk. There was this huge opportunity to recover the heat and then repurpose it to campus so we wouldn't have to discard it, which is a very energy and water intensive process. That gave birth to district level of heat recovery. Uh, with 8,180 acres of land, Stanford is home to over 1,000 buildings, so it's essentially a big district. And the application of heat recovery, which is a technology which exists in a small location, a building can have heat recovery. But what's unique about SESI is that we were able to apply that technology um, at a district level, which is the interconnection of many buildings, interconnection of small subsystems into a big system, and for it to work seamlessly. That's what's really innovative. We wanted to follow the university's tradition of doing things in a bold way. So we decided to do something that no other university has tried. In fact, no other large institution has yet tried. Dramatically accelerate our ability to reach the goals that California and the federal government have set for greenhouse gas emissions. And today, in 2016, the benefits have been tremendous. It reduces the campus's greenhouse gas emissions by 68% uh, by the end of this year from its current level. Then, by gaining the optionality to buy electricity, we can go out and buy green electricity. We have 65% of our purchased electricity coming from renewable energy sources. We have proper heat recovery. Electricity is mostly renewable coming from the grid, and we don't have a waste in the process. SESI is also a great success story for water savings. This project alone has saved 15% of potable water because we no longer waste the water in the discarding of the wasted heat. SESI is also a really important story of upfront investment and how it can return tremendous financial benefits. This project actually saves the university $420 million over the course of the next 35 years. And if you see the Central Energy Facility, it's actually a beautiful piece of architecture. And it's also a great visitor site. Students are learning from how an innovative facility works. Industry partners are excited to learn from the district level heat recovery and apply that same technology in other locations. There is nothing better than showing by example what is possible. Mm -hmm.